vehicle, capable of offensive mining capabilities deployed from a submarine. It may potentially carry other advanced payloads in the future to meet additional mission needs. Medusa features torpedo tube launch capability, long range, high payload placement accuracy, and can handle heavy payloads. Virtually no other details are available. All we know is that it is an unmanned vehicle, fired from a torpedo tube, which travels to the target area where it lays mines it can carry to and place them in different areas. In some ways it is a more sophisticated version of the old submarine-launched mobile mine, which worked in a similar way. The difference is that the clandestine delivered mines, or CDMs, dropped by Medusa, are networked and remote controlled. Not only can the minefield be turned on or off at will, but it may even be possible to change the target set, for example, setting the mines to attack submarine or surface targets only. There is no doubt this is a highly strategic area for the US Navy, as such mines are likely to play a key role in any conflict with China. If things start heating up with Taiwan, and the Navy wants to preposition mines outside planned ports, such mines would work well in that role, says Strachan. Because of the challenges involved in getting close enough to lay mines, small, stealthy unmanned craft are vastly preferable to larger manned submarines. Medusa would enable US subs to stay well back in international waters. Details of possible operations are classified, but the intentions are clear. The future of mining will be, unmanned underwater vehicle, clandestinely launched mines. And that's probably as much as I can say here, Captain Chris Merwin, head of the Mine Warfare Division at the Naval Surface and Mine Warfighting Development Center, told USNI News in 2019. The Medusa of Greek mythology turned opponents to stone with a glance. The modern Medusa aims to have a similarly paralyzing effect, bringing enemy submarines and shipping to a sudden halt when the minefield is activated, or even by its presence. Actually sinking vessels may be a secondary goal to limiting the adversary's options and keeping them penned in.